Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what our next adventure is going to be? I took the uh, Winnebago Vista out. We're going to head up to the National Forest up about 200 miles north of where we live. So I hope you'll come along. I'll show you a little bit about how I prepare and uh, what we have to do to get the RV ready to go. docking trip we've taken with the new solar panels so I'm looking forward to seeing how they work see they're pretty dusty so I have three 
panels installed. Each one's 160 watts for a total of 480. And uh, you can see it's all wired up. There's the junction box where it goes inside the RV. So I'm hoping we can run off of batteries and solar without uh, running the generator too much while we're up in the forest. We'll see. Okay, I've just about got uh, everything on the outside completed. Jeep's hooked up. Got water, extra water. Check the oil. I checked to um, see if the force allows campfires where we're going, and they do. So I loaded some wood for campfires. We got plenty of water on board. Cleaned it up, washed it up a little bit. Now let's go to the inside. Well, it's pretty hot today, but not as hot as usual. And you can see the temperature is 95 degrees inside here. So just to show you your interior a little bit, we have the normal TV that they put in those things. And uh, there's the kitchen, dining room, still got a few things to pack. I've got a uh, nice Max Air fan that's been running here for the last three or four days batteries and solar. There's our pantry. We've got uh, loaded up with food and drink. We're just taking uh, about a week long trip so got the bed made. All the clothes put away. Here's the bathroom. Got a uh, another Max Air fan on this one. I love these fans. They're great. And so I told you before that I have solar panels installed. And I've been doing some testing. Let me turn this camera around. I've been doing some testing so I can uh, have an inverter installed. I can actually run the microwave off the batteries and solar, and I can run the TV set. And, uh, and the solar charges it all back up in a matter of a couple hours, so I'm really happy about that. The only thing I can't run is um, the air conditioning, of course. It takes a lot of battery and a lot of solar to handle that. But we typically don't camp when it's this hot. We don't boondock when it's this hot unless we're up in the, in the trees, up in the mountains, the national forest where, you know, a high I think it's going to be close to 80 uh, for the area that we're going to be up. So uh, that shouldn't be a problem. We should be able to live for a week just on solar and batteries that we have. Uh, if we have to, we'll start the generator, but normally um, we don't have to unless we run the microwave. And 
I've got a setup with an inverter I installed to uh, run the microwave off the batteries if we need to. So we should be good to go. One more thing I wanted to show you. Um, those people that know Winnebago Vistos know that there's normally a jump seat that sits right here. We didn't use it very much. And you know how it is in an RV, you always need storage. So I uh, took the jump seat out and I made this box, this storage box here. And we keep uh, dog food in there. And uh, you can see odds and ends. Comes in real handy. And we, uh, we travel with our two dogs. So of course we got the leashes and all that stuff the water bowls and all of that that goes along with it so but I'm um, real happy with this box it's worked out real well and then I also made this one here so you know we can put drinks in here of course our mass our chargers all that stuff works real well and uh, this is a huge improvement over what was there, which is just a low-level drink tray. Nothing will stay in there when you're bouncing down the road. So I'm real happy with this setup here. Okay, let's go.